Hi guys, how are you doing? Good. Wonderful, good, great, that's awesome. Um, all right, so my name is Melissa. Um, you can probably tell I'm kind of younger. Um, I'm a senior at Marina High School, but I'm super honored um, just that you guys would want to have me here today. Um, so I'm gonna start off just asking you guys. Um, I have this $20 bill up here, right? Um, I'm, I kind of want to give it away. Like, who wants it? Does anyone want this $20 bill? I, I'm seeing some hands going up. Right? Okay, sweet. Some people want to go get some food after this. Um, so I'm just going to crumple it up really quick. Um, does anyone still want it? I mean, I still have this $20 bill to give away. Yeah? You guys still want it? Um, okay, so what if I just happen to like throw this on the ground um, and kind of stomp on it a little bit? And I mean, does anyone still want this? So you guys are telling me that you still want my $20 bill even after I crumpled it, and I threw it on the ground, and I stomped on it. You still want it? Yeah. Even though it's crinkled, and it's crumpled, and it's dirty, you still want it? Yeah? yeah? So, throughout my life, I've had struggles finding my self-worth. I just want to tell you guys here right now today that you are not defined by what happens to you. You're not defined by the circumstances you're in. You're not defined by how you look. Your worth is found in who you are. A lot of times in life we may feel like we're crumpled up and we're thrown on the ground and we're stomped on. But that's okay because our worth isn't defined in all of that. Our worth is defined in our value, our innate being of just who we are. We want this $20 bill. We desire the $20 bill because of what it is, not because of what it looks like and not because of what happens to it, just because it has worth in who it is. And that's the same for me, and that's the same for you, and that's the same for all of us. Um, I'm a Christian, and in the book of Romans, in the Bible, in Romans 12, it talks about each one of us having our own gifts. Romans 12, 8 says that um, if your gift is to encourage others, then be encouraging. And that's why I'm up here today. I'm up here to encourage you guys. A little bit about my life. Um, when I was in elementary school, my dad was diagnosed with cancer. It was liposarcoma cancer. Um, luckily, we caught it early enough. He had one surgery. The first one failed, um, and the surgery remained in his body. But after the second one, he's um, been, been cancer-free ever since. Um, when, yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks, guys. Um, when I was younger, I was mistreated by an older male. Um, Feelings of anxiety and feelings of fear have lingered with me ever since because it's really scary when you're a really small um, girl and there's this powerful, stronger, um, just older male who is in control. Um, and I've been scared to death of being put in a situation where I feel helpless um, and where I feel like I cannot protect myself. Um, I struggled with body issues, um, like body um, and like self-esteem, and that resulted in me um, deciding not to eat for a little period in my life. Um, I didn't feel like I looked good enough. I felt like um, my stomach needed to be flatter, like my thighs needed to be skinnier, stuff like that. Um, so my, I'm a senior right now. My junior year in high school, um, I, I was doing really good in high school so far. I joined the cheer team, um, I joined the student government, um, which is ASB, and I started this thing called the Beautiful Conference. It's like BU, TIFL. It's a teen girl empowerment organization. Um, and you know, I was living for all of the things that I was a part of. I was living for my cheer team, and I was living for ASB, and I was living for Beautiful. Um, so all of a sudden, I just started feeling very depressed. I lost my passion for everything that I was living for, um, and I was just questioning why I was here and why I was still living. Um, it got really bad one night, and I just remember waking up at like 4 a.m., and I was just going through the things in my head that I was a part of. And I thought, ASB, I don't care about that anymore. Cheer, I don't care about any, that anymore. Beautiful, I don't care about that anymore. And the last part of my life that popped into my head was God. And I decided that God was worth living for, and I put my trust and I put my hope um, in Him. And ever since then, I, it's not been easy, and my life hasn't been perfect since then, but I just feel like my life is going really well right now, and I feel happy, and because of that, I feel like I'm in a really good place to encourage others with all the joy that I have. Um, when I was feeling depressed my junior year, 
I had an anxiety attack in the middle of one of my classes. Um, and like normal, when that happened, I went up to the nurse. Um, and I just couldn't handle it anymore. Um, I went into her office and I told her about how I was feeling. And I was honest with her and I was vulnerable about how I felt broken and how I felt hopeless and that I couldn't do this anymore. And the one thing that she said to me that really stuck to me, it's so simple, but she said, Melissa, it's gonna be okay. And I never heard that before. Um, in my heart, I didn't, I didn't really believe that it was gonna be okay. I didn't believe that it could be okay. But ever since then, she just gave me that little, that little glimmer of hope that one day that my struggles would end and that one day I would just feel normal again and that I would feel happy and I would enjoy my life. And if you haven't heard that, if no one's ever told you that, then I'm standing here right now telling you that it's going to be okay. If you're at rock bottom right now, and if you're confused, and if you're lonely, and if you're sad, and you're tired, and you're exhausted, it's going to be okay. Or if you're on your way down to rock bottom right now, it's going to be okay. And if you're coming up from rock bottom, it's going to be okay. Um, there's a quote, and it says, people need to be encouraged. People need to be reminded of how wonderful they are. People need to be believed in, told that they are brave, and that they're smart and capable of doing all of the dreams that they dream and more. And I'm up here today reminding you that you're special and that you're important and that you're worthy. Um, so as you know, I started this organization called Beautiful. Um, I got the idea when I was in seventh grade and if you can picture like a little 14 year old Melissa, like, yeah, like I'm going to start a conference and an organization and just tell girls that they're awesome, you know? So it was kind of far fetched. And I realized that now looking back on it. And so many times I just thought to myself, Melissa, why would you even try? You know, like you're 14 years old. You don't have the wisdom. You don't have the experience. You don't have the resources. I don't know how I'm going to get money to do this. I don't know who's going to help me. I don't know how it's gonna happen. It probably won't, so why are you even trying? And I was in the movies one night, <laughs> Bella Terra movie theaters, um, and I was watching a movie and there was a quote. And one of the actors in the movie said, what would you do right now if you were guaranteed that it would succeed? And I want you guys to think about it right now. I'm asking every single one of you right now. What would you do right now if you were guaranteed that it would succeed? What have you dreamed of for so long that you've been so scared to accomplish? What would you do if you knew it would succeed? Now go do it. Those words stuck with me after I heard them. Just go do it. It was rashly un... There wasn't much potential for it, you know? It was hard. The barriers were big, the mountains were big in front of me, but I just, I just did it. I knew that there was something inside of me that would make it happen, and there's something inside of you that will make whatever dream you just thought of happen. I'm up here reminding you today that you are brave and that you are smart. You have what it takes to accomplish whatever dream, whatever goal you want to do. You are capable this world is yours. This life is yours. You can do anything that you've set your mind to. And if you've never heard it before, you can. You can do it. You are capable. I'll say it again. You are brave. You have courage inside of you. You are smart. You are a risk taker. And you're a world changer. And one last thing. If you've never heard it before today, I'm up here telling you right now, that I believe in you. Every single one of you in here, I wholeheartedly believe in you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>